At the 10th England France Soccer International at Highbury, the only bright spots in a dull game were French goalie Darui's play and the three England goals which gave us a 3 0 victory. And here's the first one. Tommy Lawton passes to Preston's Tom Finney, who slams it into the net. Rough tackling by the French handicapped England. But in the second half, the English inside trio, Carter, Lawton and Mannion, really get moving. Well supported by Finney. A 40 French clearance and Middlesbrough's Wilf Mannion scores goal number two with an overhead kick. Taking it all round, it was one of the poorest internationals we've seen, enlivened only by occasional individual flashes. Derby's silver-haired Rach Carter scored the third goal for England, who remained unbeaten at home in international soccer. <laughs> at Wembley, 80,000 spectators were there for the Rugby League Cup final, a record crowd. It was an all-Yorkshire battle. Bradford Northern in white shirts with hoops, beating Leeds by eight points to four. Leeds reached the final without having a point scored against them. And here they had the better part of the game in the first half. Now Bradford's forward line are on the move. Leeds right winger Cornelius number two gets it away, but he loses it. Leeds are off again, and they're pressing hard. Watch their right winger Cornelius. Only a Bradford tackle stops him from scoring. Leeds get their reward. A penalty kick by New Zealander Cook makes the score two points to nothing. The second half, and now Bradford's strong three-quarter line comes into its own. The Northern boys are pinning the Leeds team down in their own half. Bradford are playing the ball more cleanly now with a succession of beautiful runs. Batten comes near to scoring a try. <laughs> Bradford's Walters completes a round of passing to make the score two off. The final score was 8-4 and the cup goes to Bradford North. Bradford skipper Ernie Ward receives the trophy from the Duke of Gloucester. At their first Wembley appearance, Bradford Northern defied the forecasters who picked Leeds to win. It's Bradford's third time as cup winners. Now, with a good chance to be among the first four in the league, Bradford are out for the cup and league double. 